Imagine this. Ten years from now, your phone, your car, your bank, everything runs on quantum computing. The world flips from classical to quantum, and a tiny handful of companies will be at the heart of that revolution. Now ask yourself, would you rather be in early or get left behind? Because right now, quantum computing stocks are soaring. We're talking gains in the hundreds, even thousands of percent, in just a year. The noise is deafening, the hype is real, and Wall Street starters are placing big bets. In this video, we're going deep. We'll walk through three quantum computing stocks that are dominating headlines, dig into NVIDIA's stealth quantum play, explore growth forecasts, weigh risks versus rewards, and help you understand whether this wave is hype or a generational tech shift you don't want to miss. Welcome to Money Mind Finance. If you're new here, we break down the biggest stories in tech, finance, and innovation, and everything stock news analysis in a way that's fun, easy to follow, and worth your time. Before we dive in, please take a second to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and also subscribe. Please help this video to get at least 500 likes. It really helps to support the channel and keeps us bringing you the latest market insight. Thank you. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing here is a direct buying recommendation. Always do your own research, consider your risk tolerance, and consult a licensed professional before making any investment decisions. Quantum stocks are highly volatile and that's the truth. Why is the quantum story blowing up right now? Because for the first time, leading investment banks like B. Riley are acknowledging that this tech, which once lived purely in academic research papers and science fiction novels, is now moving toward real-world commercial capability. According to B. Riley analyst Craig Ellis, what was once a former frontier technology is now making a push toward integration and commercialization. And when Wall Street starts adjusting price targets by 30%, 50%, even 100% overnight, well, you don't want to be sleeping on that. Globally, the quantum computing market is projected to grow from $3.52 billion in 2025 to about $20.20 billion by 2030, a 41.8% CAGR. And let's be real, that's before we account for any surprise breakthroughs, which in quantum computing could change the game overnight. Quantum has implications for national security, encryption, materials, defense. Governments are pouring funding into quantum initiatives. When your tech gets strategic importance, capital and mandates follow. So the mood is changing. The hype is rising and if you're watching this, you're in the right place to separate the noise from what might actually matter. First up is IonQ. This company is quickly becoming the face of quantum computing for retail investors and for good reason. IonQ is pioneering a trapped ion approach to quantum computing. That means they use electrically charged atoms, suspended in magnetic fields, as qubits and thesi systems can stay coherent longer than many other types. They're more stable, more accurate, and potentially more scalable. Now here's where things get spicy. Analyst Craig Ellis from B. Riley recently raised IonQ's price target to $100, up from $75. That's currently the highest Wall Street price target for the stock. Get this, IonQ stock is up a jaw-dropping 833% over the past year. Yeah, you heard that right. And we may only be scratching the surface. IonQ recently acquired Oxford Ionics in a 1.08 billion stock deal, bringing iron trap on a chip expertise in-house. In 2025, they closed a $1 billion equity investment, giving them robust runway to push R&D aggressively. Revenue is growing, but losses remain steep. In Q2 2025, IonQ posted revenue of $20.7 million, up 82% year over year, with a net loss of $177.5 million. The valuation is extremely aggressive relative to revenue. Some analysts note IonQ trades at 200x its trailing sales. The buy the rumor, sell the news trap is alive in quantum. Big announcements popularize the stock but long-term performance matters most. 
If IonQ continues to deliver on its roadmap, scaling logical qubits, executing acquisitions, and partnering with major clouds, it could be one of the names you didn't regret buying early. But it's a high variance bet, huge upside, but also steep risk. If you're enjoying these market insights and finding them helpful, please take a moment to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you. Next up, let's talk about the dark horse in this race, D-Wave Quantum, ticker symbol QBTS. Now D-Wave doesn't play the same game as IonQ. They focus on quantum annealing, a different technique from the more general purpose quantum computing most people talk about. Quantum annealing is particularly good for optimization problems, think logistics, supply chain, financial modeling. So while it may not be able to solve every problem, it can solve some better than anything else on the planet. And investors are starting to get it. QBTS stock is up a mind-blowing 2,715% in the last 12 months. Management has been smart. Every time they made headlines at major quantum events, they used that attention to raise more capital and then reinvest it directly into development. They've assembled an impressive customer roster, over 133 or more customers, including 25 from the Forbes Global 2000 list. Financially, Q2 2025 revenue grew 42% year over year to $3.1 million, with bookings increasing 92% showing demand is rising. Gross margins near 64% signal they have leverage in their service model. Losses remain steep, but D-Wave has ample cash, in some reports over $800 plus million in cash reserves. B. Riley raised its QBTS price target from $22 to $33. In the past year, D-Wave has seen a 2,715% gain. Despite a wider-than-expected loss in one quarter, this stock still rose 16%, driven by strong bookings and cash position. It's not universal quantum, some skeptics argue quantum annealing is limited in scope. Heavy reliance on capital raises. D-Wave recently completed a $400 million at the market equity offering. Valuations are ambitious, forward price-to-sales ratios are extremely elevated because D-Wave is delivering real revenue with actual customers, not just grand promises. If quantum computing matures in stepped improvements, first tools, then universality, D-Wave might already be capturing value early. For investors who can stomach volatility, it's among the likeliest to show early returns. Now, let's talk about Rigetti Computing, a full-stack quantum bet with aggressive ambitions. Rigetti develops both the hardware and software stack for quantum computing, the full-stack model. In 2025, Rigetti secured a $5.8 million contract with the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory to work on bridging superconducting qubits and optical photons, essentially quantum networking infrastructure. Recently, Rigetti introduced its Cepheus 136Q system, a multi-chip, four-chiplet quantum design achieving 99.5% two-qubit gate fidelity, roughly doubling performance compared to its prior systems. In Q2 2025, revenue was modest $1.8 million, but they used the quarter to hit that technical milestone above. Rigetti completed a $350 million AT the market equity raise, bolstering its cash reserves to $571 to $575 million with zero debt. Losses are substantial, tens of millions per quarter, but they have a healthy runway. In the past year, Rigetti soared 4,182%. Riley increased its price target from $19 to $35. Some commentators regard this as one of the boldest target shifts in the quantum sector. Execution risk is steep, scaling from tens to hundreds of qubits is extremely challenging. Overvaluation is a concern, many quantum names trade at extreme multiples of revenue. Market sentiment swings easily. For example, when NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang suggested that very useful quantum computers might still be 15 to 30 years off, Quantum stocks dropped sharply. If Rigetti can reliably scale qubits, deliver high-fidelity gates, and bridge quantum classical systems efficiently, 
It's one of the more aggressive and potentially high reward plays. For those who believe Quantum is next level, it's a name to keep on your radar. All right, let's pivot, because what if I told you Nvidia is quietly positioning itself to dominate quantum computing too? Sounds crazy, right? Nvidia is known for GPUs and AI, but they've been laying the groundwork for years. When the AI boom started, everyone focused on Nvidia's hardware. But here's what really gave them an edge, their CUDA software platform. Developers flocked to it. Now, NVIDIA's playing the same game with Quantum. They've launched CUDA Q, a quantum development platform that lets developers build hybrid quantum classical apps. That's a big deal. Because most companies won't replace classical systems, they'll integrate quantum as a co-processor. Even if NVIDIA never builds a physical quantum computer, they're building the tools developers will use to run them. That's a picks and shovels play and it's a smart one. Plus, AI demand isn't going anywhere. So even if quantum is 5 or 10 years out, NVIDIA remains a powerhouse with low downside risk. So let's do a quick recap. The quantum computing market is heating up fast, with analysts projecting it to grow nearly sixfold by 2030. IonQ up 833%, leading the pack with partnerships and acquisitions. D-Wave up 2,715%, leveraging quantum annealing and working with NASA. Rigetti up 4,182%, landing government contracts and developing hybrid infrastructure. And of course, NVIDIA, the silent giant building the tools for this next wave of computing. It's still early. Most of these companies aren't profitable yet. But the market is clearly betting that one or more of them will define the next era of technology. If you've made it this far, you're ahead of 99% of people who haven't even heard of quantum computing stocks. So give yourself some credit. If you found this video helpful or eye-opening, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives like this, and share it with someone who needs to be in the loop. And hey, drop a comment below, which of these stocks are you watching or holding? Let's talk. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.